Hi, in this lesson I'll show you to, how to create a block which automatically breaks the line when you insert it. Off we go. In our previous lesson we showed you how to create a block which automatically aligns itself to anything in your drawing. So I'll just insert that block. As you can see it will align itself to the line there. Now the problem we have with this is it still shows the line underneath. Now to display this properly inside a schematic, you need to have the lines broken. How can we do this? We will, we will do this by adding a wipeout into the dynamic block. So I will edit the block we created earlier. Double click on it, select gate valve and press OK. It will open in the workspace of the dynamic blocks. Now you still have your normal ribbon bars here. As normal, you can also use type in commands. So I will create a wipeout covering one half of the, the valve. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Close the block editor down, make sure you save the changes. Now you will notice now, the line that we had previously, it appears as if it's broken. So when I insert another block, again the lines appear broken. Now they're not, the lines are still there. By using the wipeout, you've basically hidden the lines. So if I delete that, the line will still be there. And again, if I move this, the lines will reappear there and break where you've placed it. A very useful tool when doing schematics. So you now know how to create a block which automatically aligns itself and then breaks the line on insertion. Very useful when creating schematics. In the next lesson, I will show you how to use visibility parameters inside of dynamic blocks to change the type of valves as you go through. Hope to see you on that lesson. Bye.